This your boy Sus from Dream Big and Live Small, and you watching Takeover TV. Takeover. Sir, let's shake it up a little bit, man. Oh yeah, it's on, time man. to get into it now. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's All get it. right. Um, we already know what's going on with D Wade's son. I know <laughs> this daughter, but I'm still saying son. Yeah, nah. Wait, wait. he's with, a son. With, with D Wade's son, yeah, right? He's a boy. He's a boy. Boosie made a video. <laughs> Shout out to Boosie, man. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I ain't got to repeat what he said. We know what he said. Yeah, right. right. What's your thoughts, man? <clears throat> It was funny, super funny, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Boosie, man, he, he just a funny dude. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I don't even keep up with him for his music. I think I keep up and I keep following him on social media simply because he make me laugh, you know what I'm saying? Me too. Yeah, like, uh, he's a funny dude. But although it was funny, it was accurate as well, you know what I'm saying? Because just like he said, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's 12 years old, you know what I'm saying? He's 12 years old and um, no matter what he thinks he is, like if he wants to, like, I just agree with Boosie. I agree with Boosie a hundred percent. Um, if he, if he think he gay, let him be gay or whatnot. But come on, man, you, you know, you calling him a her and I don't know how true this is. I know this is what Boosie addressed. So I, but I don't want to say how true this is something about, I maybe guess having like the procedure to, to take his genitals off. You know what I'm saying? Because Boosie kept saying, don't cut it off, D-Wade. Don't cut it off. So I don't really know where that's coming from. So I don't want to speak like I do, because I don't. Um, but apparently, maybe D-Wade suggested something about um, his son having that procedure done. And I, you know, um, this shit's just ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? That's my personal opinion. Um, and while we on this subject, I'm going to say this one right here. I think people throw throw around the word um, homophobic too damn much, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, ain't nobody scared of gay people. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm not scared of gay people. I'm not scared about anything dealing with talking about gay people. You know what I'm saying? But, like, if I don't agree, I just don't agree. You know what I'm saying? That, and that don't make what I'm saying law. You know what I'm saying? But that's my opinion. That shit's ridiculous. You know, point blank, period. You know what I'm saying? I have children. You know what I'm saying? And I'm raising mine a certain way. And people can raise their kids whatever, this, this one thing I will say, people can raise their kids whatever type of way that they choose to raise their kids. I just think be very careful with your influence. We talking about D-Wade, man, we talking about a straight legend, you know what I'm saying? We talking about the influence, you know what I'm saying? The little boys that look up to him, you know what I'm saying? What type of presidents is you setting, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's for him and his maker to deal with, for sure. I can tell you right now, uh, it it, it kind of goes along with what you say, it, mm -hmm. son. If you want to be gay, mm -hmm. I I can't stop. You can't stop. I can't no, stop. Hundred percent. I want to make sure you don't get harmed. Yeah. And you still gonna be my son. Yeah. Right? But if we gonna talk about removing gentle dudes and all that, come I, on, man. Come when on. you turn eighteen, whatever, move out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You could do whatever you want. You I, whatever I can't you stop you. Facts. But. I'm not spending not a penny of my money to remove genitals and go beyond that. You know, that's... We're not removing no genitals. We're not buying no females clothing. We're not buying no hostile tops. We're not doing no nails. We're not doing none of that stuff. And I think people, like I say, I think people just taking out of, you know what I'm saying? Um, taking what they want to take out uh, from it. You know what I'm saying? People saying that, oh, y'all can't get mad because he loves his son. Man, love is more than just doing what the hell your child wants you to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, this one thing I did hear him say, I heard D-Wade say that um, she is our leader, referring to his son, Zaya. I guess that's the name, Zaya. She said that, um, I mean, D-Wade said that she is our leader, referring to his son as a female and this child being the leader of them. So you know the shit's out of order. That's out of order, man. You know what I'm saying? It's man, woman, then children. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just the logical order. You know what I'm saying? I don't even have to, you know, that's just the logical order. The, your man, the woman, and then the child. You're saying that you're referring to a boy 
as a she now, and then you're saying that she's the leader. I don't, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man. So like, yeah, like that's how I, that's how I feel about that, man. And nobody can make me feel no different. And it just is what it is. Do you think D-Way is just deep down protecting this brand? No, that's, man, it's definitely about. I, 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 the only reason I say that yeah. is because if he like, you know, I don't agree with this. You know, I don't agree with him wanting to be a female. This is just how I feel as a man. Mm -hmm. and, it hurts his brain. And you think that backlash is going to come back like, okay, you're yeah. homophobic. Yeah. You're this and we're just going to take away your Gatorade endorsement. Mm -hmm. And this because the media and the machine is driving what's going on. Right. This feminization of the man or specifically the black man. The black man. Right. Oh, man. Facts. Facts. Um, I definitely can see that. I think it's more of a business move um, that they're doing uh, because some stuff is just unexplainable that they're doing. Um, I just don't understand. You can love your son. You can accept him being gay, but you're talking about genital changes. You're talking about him wearing halter and tops and all kind of other stuff. When they in your house, it's just I don't. I mean. Um, I just don't understand it, but maybe it's not meant for me to understand. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe so. The best way I could put it is, man, take care of your home. Every man, every black man, take care of your home and you be the best example you can be in your home. Clearly that's the type of example that D Wade wants to be in his home. Um, and most men just don't agree with it, but for good reason, because there is an agenda and it has been for quite some time to like, he feminized like the black man, you know what I'm saying? Right. And that play right into that, you know what I'm saying? Right. So uh, I'm not with none of that shit, period. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm from the old school where the father raised the son mm -hmm. to be the next king. Yeah. Then that man grows up and mm -hmm. if he has a son, mm -hmm. he raises him to be mm -hmm. the next king. And, and you know, it kept continuing. Mm -hmm. But with the agendas going on, if it keeps going the way it's, it's going, mm -hmm. if there's going to be no man and woman, there ain't going to be no reproduction. And if there's not going to be any reproduction, there's going to be an extension of the race. Now, could I be going far? But if in theory... No, no you're not going far at all, man. That just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything at the end of the day... When I just sit back and pay attention to it, and I don't have to pay really close attention because it's kind of obvious. It's obvious. You know what I'm saying? All this shit is really coming down to um, it always lead back to somehow some, some shit that doesn't create life. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be them pushing like abortions or them um, or like the gay thing. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know what I'm saying, like the transgender thing or whatnot. Gay wasn't enough. Now it's transgender or whatnot. Like, like, damn, it's like if if kids come up thinking that this is cool, then like, what does that lead to the future? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. How do we reproduce? How do we keep on going as a race of people? You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know, you know, it's out of order. You know what I'm saying? It's out of order. You know the guy that wears the dresses to all the award show? I can't remember his name. I, I know you're talking the, about the black guy. Right? Yeah, I don't he, know I think he's already made his appearance on Sesame Street. Sounds now, right. okay, now we push this on the kids. Mm -hmm. To me, if you want gay education for children, won't you just create a channel? Mm -hmm. Put it all on there. Put it then that way, parents can have the option. The option. If they want their kids to view this or not. Yeah. But now nah, they don't want to do that. They want to do it the way that they're doing, so they can like infiltrate the minds of you know what I'm saying, kids that don't feel like that, or kids that aren't being raised like that. So why they're sitting down watching, you know, it's subconscious programming. Like that's a real thing. Whether people like acknowledge it or not, that's a real thing. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like kids being subconsciously programmed. You know what I'm saying to believe that. This is okay. And you know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just gotten out of hand. It's gotten completely out of hand. And you can't say anything. I've never seen anything like this. So like, you can't say nothing about it. Like, you say anything about someone 
being gay or transgender. They whatnot, shut your whole you know thing down, man? bro. Like, they will shut your whole program down, you know what I'm saying? But that's how you know that, you know, that the shit is being pushed, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't say nothing about it. And whenever someone does say something about it, they're super quick to come back and, like, apologize. I'm sorry, I didn't mean that like that, you know what I'm saying? They got, because, they got that phone call. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So, wickedness and how, you know, um, up in high places, you know what I'm saying? I subscribe to the Bible, so um, I believe in that. I believe, you know what I'm saying, when it talk about like wickedness being up in like high places, you know what I'm saying? Like facts, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah.